The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, I'd like to thank you for your uh, participation to uh, this uh, important uh, event. And I'd like to thank uh, Afmin first uh, for uh, helping to make, in the, uh, to make this uh, happen. And uh, I hope that you've got a chance to go to the, to the conference site and uh, so search David as a Pamez welcome. Uh, thank you, uh, Serge, for doing that. Uh, we at, at Freedom from Hunger, we are very excited to collaborate with uh, Afmin on this important uh, event uh, that I think will be, will be uh, full of uh, experience, uh, sharing, learning from each other, and of course I think we're going to have some, uh, some fun. Uh, I, I hope you've got a chance to visit the conference site and get uh, fam uh, familiar with it. And uh, that's where we're going to be uh, a meeting, basically, along that week. Uh, I'd like to encourage you to, uh, to participate actively, not only uh, today through your questions, but also during the week. Uh, uh, through uh, the online uh, discussion that we, uh, we're going to have. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to provide a quick overview of the week. Uh, today, uh, we will be uh, uh, having the live uh, presentation that will take place in a few um, minutes. And this will be followed by uh, uh, questions and answers uh, session for you to react to uh, to the to the uh, presentation, and then we will have a first round of uh, uh, online discussion that will start uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, the way it's gonna it, uh, it's gonna work is that I will be posting an idea just to to launch the conversation and this is for you uh, to react to and say what you think about it, if you have any suggestions or additions, uh, you may uh, agree and disagree and come, uh, come up with completely different uh, ideas, so feel free. This will take uh, place for two days, so uh, this first round of uh, discussion will be around the rationale of providing, combining microfinance uh, and non-financial uh, services. A second round of online discussion will be taking place on Thursdays and f on Thursday and Friday, and this time it's going to uh, be about the challenges uh, that MFIs may encounter in implementing integrated uh, services. Uh, I'd like to finish this uh, introduction by uh, uh, telling you that if anything goes wrong uh, in terms of accessing the conference site uh, or anything related to that uh, uh, conference this week, email me. Email me so that uh, my colleagues and I uh, can take care of that. Okay, so let's get started with the uh, the presentation. So uh, I think it might be good to start by uh, saying a few a few words about uh, who is uh, uh, Freedom from Hunger. So Freedom from Hunger is an international organization that brings innovative and sustainable uh, solutions to the problems of chronic hunger and poverty. You see on the, on the right hand side of, the, of this slide a map 
showing where we uh, we work uh, in Africa, where we have been uh, working. As you can see, further from hunger uh, has a, a concentration in West Africa, and uh, right now the organization is poised to expand to uh, the other uh, parts of the of the continent. Why combining macrofinance and uh, non-financial uh, services? Uh, let me address this uh, uh, from the client point, uh, point of view first. Uh, uh, as you know, uh, uh, poverty has multiple uh, faces, uh, several ways and, and strategies to address it. Uh, 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 we uh, we need uh, several ways and uh, strategies to address it. And macrofinance uh, is one of these uh, strategies. So it makes sense that addressing broader range of needs uh, would yield more and greater uh, uh, benefits. Uh, this has been uh, proved and showed through Freedom from Hunger experience uh, over the years, and, uh, and we did some research that supported it as well, uh, that uh, integrating macrofinance and non-financial uh, services uh, 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 enable uh, MFIs to have uh, more impacts on their uh, clients. Uh, as you can see, uh, our research through our research, we could de uh, we demonstrated that uh, co combining macrofinance and non-financial uh, services help to increase uh, significantly and improve health and uh, nutrition uh, practices for for uh, clients. Uh, improved the business management uh, practices and uh, improved uh, household financial decisions as well. Moving to the next slide, uh, I'd like to uh, look at the, the, the same uh, topic about uh, from the MFI's point, uh, point of view. So, uh, Again, based on uh, further from hunger's experience and research around the world uh, about integrating macrofinance and non-financial uh, 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 services, we've seen that the knowledge acquired uh, through education sessions, and this is about a, a, a more specific integrated uh, s uh, services that Freedom from Hunger has been providing uh, that is uh, credited with education. I will talk uh, more about it uh, la later in this presentation. So we think that uh, through education sessions, uh, 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 clients uh, benefit uh, a, a, a lot from it, and not only they benefit from it, uh, their families as well, uh, uh, the members of the communities as well, and uh, it doesn't stop there. It even extends to the to the MFIs that are serving them. For for example, for most of the credit union federations in West Africa. Uh, a credit, a credit with education is a way to reach out to a clientele that they haven't been able to serve in their norm, uh, normal operations. Uh, for an organization like uh, uh, Padme in Benin, uh, it, is, uh, it has been helping uh, them to expand to the rural areas where they believe uh, poverty is the most acute. Uh, also, uh, Freedom from Hunger conducted research in uh, Ghana, in uh, Peru, that showed that education sessions improved a client's management skills and productiv productivity. Uh, like uh, education in business enables uh, clients to be more productive and to make better business decisions. 
health education has a, po a positive impact on their health and or and on their uh, children's allowing them to spend more time on their bis on their uh, business so uh, uh, basically more productive uh, clients uh, which uh, uh, leads to better repayment rates better uh, portfolio uh, quality uh, all that uh, also can help in um, the MFA to have a better image in the community. Moving on to the next slide, here uh, is a, a diagram illustrating how at Freedom from Hunger we see the, com the combination of financial and non-financial uh, services using, of course, microfinance uh, as a platform. So the trend here is the uh, MFI, and the track is a way to get to the destination. Uh, here, the clients, and the freights are the diverse uh, CD of services that can be provided to the clients. Uh, uh, transporting only uh, credit and savings does not take full advantage of the train and of the tracks. So uh, MFIs can use their existing infrastructure to provide additional uh, services uh, like uh, education, uh, of course, uh, 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 savings and uh, linkages to health protection uh, services. Uh, for example, poor people need uh, a knowledge of, be of better business and health uh, practices to make better use of their loans and savings and health pr pr protection uh, services. But there's a limit to all that because uh, we cannot keep on adding additional freight uh, uh, cars uh, indefinitely. We can not keep on adding uh, new uh, services uh, 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 indefinitely because first uh, it is uh, much more expensive, it is costly, this is going to be charged to the clients and the poor cannot pay for all of the services uh, the whole integrated uh, service needs to be profitable uh, and the more we add, the more challenging it is to make it uh, uh, profitable and sustainable. And of course, too many uh, freight cars or too many additional services would impede the train to move, so we don't want to burden uh, clients and uh, this uh, 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 puts us in, the, uh, uh, in uh, another uh, challenge, which is to uh, make sure that all that is coordinated well. So uh, I will address that uh, a little bit later in this presentation. Moving to the next slide, another uh, uh, diagram. This one shows how integrated uh, services uh, uh, components play to achieve greater impacts. Uh, we have uh, in the second box uh, an ongoing fa uh, financial uh, services, so the platform, a uh, preferably group-based approach to which we add non-formal education and, uh, and uh, and health pro uh, uh, products and or services, and this in terms of uh, linkages. All that uh, takes us to some intermediaries uh, outcome uh, as a result of uh, financial uh, services, we have a better income uh, smoothing, uh, more profit, uh, profit uh, table uh, businesses as a result of uh, in education in macro enterprise uh, management. 
better health practices uh, from education in health and so on. And there are uh, other uh, uh, benefits or outcomes that are not directly related to a specific uh, component that comes from the combination of them. That is increased social uh, capital and improved self-confidence uh, of their participants. And of course, in the long run, we have this all that uh, yields uh, a better access to uh, to food and use of food through the uh, education. Uh, and uh, so to, uh, to achieve that, we really need uh, uh, a strong and capable of, uh, education and MFI that is, uh, that can provide those services at scale and in a sustainable uh, uh, manner. The next slide uh, will focus on a specific integrated uh, service, uh, which is uh, Credit with Education that Freedom from Hunger has promoted the most uh, in Africa. Uh, let me uh, say a few, a few words about what we mean by integrated uh, services at Freedom from Hunger. Uh, that is uh, multiple services uh, deliberately delivered to the same end users in a co coordinated way to achieve a positive impact. Multiple services deliberately delivered to the same end users in a coordinated way to achieve a positive impact. Let me uh, emphasize a few words in that definition, uh, multiple uh, services, that is important, uh, that uh, what make, uh, uh, makes it uh, integrate, uh, graded, we need more than one uh, uh, service. Uh, this doesn't happen uh, by accident, so it should be a deliberate plan and everything uh, put together to that end. Same end users is another uh, important thing here. Uh, the, the same participant, the same group should be uh, targeted uh, with the different uh, uh, services. It should be coordinated, that is important. Uh, we want them to be that the different services support each other and build on, uh, on uh, each other. Of course, all that should uh, lead to a positive impact. A quick description of what credit with education is, uh, it is based on village banking, so group-based lending approach, and loans are provided uh, mainly to, uh, to groups of women. Uh, they have the possibility to save small uh, save, uh, uh, savings, and there's the the notion of uh, a peers uh, guarantee through uh, a small solidarity groups. And the in innovation that Credit with Education brought in is the education uh, that is added to that financial, existing financial uh, services. So clients participate in non formal adult education sessions focused to, uh, on uh, encouraging and supporting uh, uh, behavior change. Uh, still uh, related to credit with education, I'd just like to here on this slide to provide some uh, key characteristics of uh, the education. What what education? Uh, what does it mean? What uh, characterizes uh, the education session? Uh, they have to be group uh, group based. Uh, that's why uh, a group lending uh, uh, scheme is uh, important because uh, it's important that uh, the 
it draws on the strength and the experience of the different uh, part, uh, of the part, uh, participants. It's a, a dialogue creating uh, based on uh, sh experience uh, sharing among members through uh, dialogue inter inter interaction. Uh, problem sol uh, solving should be very practical. Uh, address specific needs uh, or issues that uh, uh, participants are, fit are uh, facing. Uh, uh, dialogue based, not requiring participants to be literate. They don't have to, to go to school to know how to read before do, uh, doing it, before being part of, uh, of it. So all is based on uh, dialogue. Should be quick, uh, not more than 30 uh, minutes, hopefully less, because uh, uh, we don't want to extend too much the time that uh, the participant will be spending on meetings. They have another things to do. In depth, uh, the same topic is addressed through different angles and um, uh, over uh, 7 to 12 uh, sessions to really make sure that the participants on the, on the studies take the time to really reflect on it and, and uh, take steps to uh, behavior change. And the good thing is that it can be added to any group-based macro-finance uh, methodology. Mo uh, moving to the next slide, uh, just to share with you the main uh, education areas that we uh, have at Freedom from Hunger. Uh, health and, and uh, nutrition is a, a very important area for us. Uh, uh, macro enterprise management is another one, and uh, household uh, finance uh, uh, management. Uh, the the topics you have uh, under each big category is um, the different uh, modules, actual uh, modules that we promote. Uh, note that uh, in West Africa that we have been working uh, the most up to uh, up to now, uh, malaria has been a very important, a very uh, popular. Uh, a module as well as uh, a diarrhea. Let me focus now on this slide on uh, the, uh, uh, the different insti institutional approaches that we have identified as to how to integrate uh, uh, macro finance and non-financial services in the context of an MFI. So the first one that I'd like to comment on is the linked, what we call the linked approach. Uh, it's uh, when we have different org uh, organizations, different service delivery staff, and same end, end users. What what it is, is that uh, financial uh, ser uh, s uh, services are offered by MFI and non well, non-financial services are, are offered by specialist organizations to the same people. And this approach is used uh, when there are several development uh, service providers in a target area. The challenges in this uh, approach is the, the coordination between inde independent organizations and, and staff to market and deliver uh, these uh, uh, services. There are a benefit though, uh, which is that we have the opportunity to use the spe uh, specialization of each of the, uh, organization. So each organization will come, come with his, uh, uh, and will be operating in its uh, specialized uh, um, um, area. 
In terms of example, we have uh, uh, the, uh, the collaboration between a small enterprise foundation, CEF, which is a, a lead MFI in South Africa, and uh, Rural AIDS and Development Action Research Program. Uh, which is a local NGO who developed a curriculum related to HIV pre prevention, gender roles, and inequality. So, SEF has been providing uh, uh, the financial service to to the groups, where uh, while uh, a radar uh, caps into. Uh, to facilitate uh, uh, a session on, uh, on HIV pre uh, prevention, uh, gender in uh, inequality, and uh, other non-financial uh, uh, ser uh, services. The next uh, approach that I'd like to share with you is the, the uh, parallel approach. Here we have same organization different service delivery staff and same end users. So uh, this is when we have a, a multi-purpose organization that can offer uh, different uh, 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 services using different, uh, I mean, specialized staff that uh, they have. So. Uh, this kind of approach is used when uh, there is a few available uh, services in the uh, uh, um, area and uh, an organization that can afford to provide uh, services with different staff and we which has uh, specialized staff uh, in different uh, areas the challenge is that it is relatively higher cost and a fewer cost recovery opportun opportunities. Uh, there's also the challenge of coordinating uh, the delivery between uh, the different uh, specialized staff, even though they're part of the same org uh, organization. The benefit is that same organization uh, that same organization can ensure same uh, clients reach, reach and you, while using uh, specialized uh, staff. Uh, a good example of this is World, uh, World F uh, Vision. The national offices uh, in collaboration with MFIs that are part of the World Vision uh, network and uh, area development uh, programs in a country. Uh, so MFS would be uh, providing the financial uh, services and uh, area development programs will come with a, a, a variety of non-financial services. The last one is uh, the unified uh, approach. Uh, here we have same organization, same service de uh, uh, delivery staff, and same end users. Uh, so what it is is that this uh, the same staff of the of that same uh, organization offers both microfinance and other uh, sector uh, services, and it is. Uh, it fits with situation where there is a very few or no other development uh, services in the uh, in the area, and organization cannot afford to provide two or more uh, services with different specialized staff. The challenge is that uh, is an organization uh, organizational commitment to offering both uh, services. Uh, if it's, uh, uh, let's say, an MFI who, uh, uh, whose natural uh, business is not to provide non-financial services, it may be uh, difficult to share that ideas inside the organization. 
the benefit is that we uh, we gain on the e uh, efficiency uh, of the of the delivery of the service. Uh, it's easier to cover cost. The revenues from the financial services can uh, more easily be used to cover the costs on the non-financial ser uh, services. In terms of example, we have um, RCPB in Burkina Faso, uh, Kondo Jigima in Mali, and Pande in Benin. Uh, all those organizations are offered from hunger's partners uh, in West Africa. Moving on to the next slide, uh, I'd like to talk uh, about the uh, challenges in combining microfinance and non-financial uh, services. Uh, uh, on this slide, I'll be uh, commenting on the strategic uh, uh, challenges. Uh, I divided them in two categories. The first one is uh, uh, about ownership and commitment. Uh, most of the time what happens is that the mission does not clearly support integrated uh, services delivery. Uh, the rationale is not that clear and uh, the staff's role is unclear as well. So uh, on the uh, right hand side on the uh, s uh, possible solutions, those are what uh, Freedom from Hunger has been doing and uh, the way we have been working with our partners to overcome those uh, challenges. So uh, it is important to make sure that the, uh, to, to articulate the implementation of uh, integrated services with the mission to uh, establish how this uh, strategy is helping the organization in fulfilling its mission. That is very important. And also communication is key here uh, to make sure that all the, the organization stakeholders uh, are on board and understand very well why, uh, why they are doing this and what are the, uh, the benefits and the challenges that they should, be, they should have in mind. Uh, staff expertise is the other category that I'd like to uh, comment on. Uh, it's very difficult to uh, identify, select, and recruit, uh, and train good field staff, especially when uh, we operate in the unified approach. Uh, a way to uh, address that is to uh, develop uh, standard job descriptions that uh, and also to have a very clear and sustainable training system that responds to the organization needs because uh, uh, it is important that uh, staff be, uh, staff's capacity be built to respond to these organizational, organizational needs. Uh, moving on to the next slide. Uh, uh, um, here, this is about the operational uh, 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 challenges. Again, I, I, I divided them into two types. The first one is the, uh, the service delivery structure. Uh, it is uh, usu usually what happens is that there's uh, s uh, the uh, MFIs face difficulties in structuring a good synchronization of services in the field. And um, so to address that, it is important to uh, really design the delivery mechanism that takes organizations uh, and clients' needs into account. Uh, 
while uh, designing how the uh, uh, the integrated services will be provided in the in the field. Uh, the other issue related to service delivery is uh, uh, increased operating expenses to provide integrated uh, services. Uh, it's more costly to provide an additional uh, service, so it is important that the MFI understands that, know that, and secure uh, enough external funding and time to make sure that the whole uh, service delivery uh, reach the break-even point. The last uh, type of challenge that I left to talk about is the management systems and tools. What happens usually is that the existing management systems and tools are not adapted to deal with uh, integrated uh, uh, ser uh, services, let's say uh, taking the um, the um, uh, management, the uh, information management uh, system uh, that uh, is there, uh, it may not be designed to uh, report on the, the, let's say, the education uh, session per, uh, performance. So it is important that uh, these, all those management systems and tools be adapted to really uh, and be extended to uh, uh, to uh, integrated uh, uh, ser uh, services. Okay, uh, moving on to the next slide, uh, quickly I'd like to uh, say a few words about uh, what Freedom From Hunger can, can do to help M uh, MFIs to provide integrated uh, services. As you know, Freedom From Hunger uh, provides support and technical assistance to MFIs. Uh, that's what we've been doing uh, around the world, uh, helping MFIs and other organizations in uh, adopting and uh, implementing integrated uh, services. So the different uh, areas that uh, we cover uh, 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 includes uh, market research and service design, how to structure the, ser the, ser the service to uh, so, uh, so that it addresses clients' needs, and in the same time, uh, make sure that it meets it meets uh, MFI's conditions. We also uh, provide uh, uh, support in uh, education and non and other non-financial uh, uh, components. Uh, those are uh, training includes uh, training in um, the various education modules that I talked to you about earlier. Another area is uh, uh, training in the adaptation of uh, self-existing uh, tools to make sure that they, uh, they are adapted in dealing uh, with uh, non-financial uh, services. And uh, the, here for the next slide, uh, for the last slide, actually, uh, I, I, I just uh, like to uh, pro to provide uh, information about what, uh, how we can, uh, how we can uh, uh, help. Uh, first, we have the materials available for any interested MFIs uh, that are uh, interested to adopt integrated uh, services. Uh, 
we can also provide a training to interested MFIs to ensure a more effective use of the um, of the of the materials. So it may be a group of MFIs that we train to help them to uh, implement uh, integrated uh, services. Uh, uh, we can also provide a deeper uh, support through technical assistance uh, on a one-to-one -one bas uh, basis for customized support to the interested uh, MFI. Uh, I'd like to finish by uh, saying that if you are interested or need more information uh, in terms of how you can, how your MFI can uh, adopt integrated uh, services, email me and uh, we can see uh, how we can help and what material we can provide you to help you to get to get started. So uh, I'd be happy to take some some questions at this point. Thank you for your attention and uh, feel free to raise your hands. You, you may raise your hands if you are interested in uh, speaking uh, and I will give you the, the floor. Thank you. You can also uh, ask a question through the chat uh, a feature that is there on the uh, on the uh, on the dash on the dashboard. So yeah, either through the chat or uh, if you want to speak, feel free. Uh, uh, Maria Ashcroft uh, has a question. Uh, go ahead. Hello, uh, Mariana. Can you can you speak? Okay, uh, she's uh, sending a question by the chat uh, uh, feature. Let me uh, relate the question. Uh, uh, Microfinance is becoming uh, increasingly commercialized and, in, and integrating individual lending. What are the uh, what are the uh, implications? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I think uh, in terms of uh, uh, the, the, the trend of uh, microfinance right now uh, for uh, commercial, commercialization, I think uh, it is important to uh, look at, uh, to keep our eyes on the, on the, on the very poor, uh, how best we can still uh, 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 targeting them, provide the service that they really need. And it is also important that we uh, monitor that to make sure that whatever 
uh, service that we are providing are really uh, making a, a, a difference. Uh, yes, the commercialization uh, trend uh, may see the uh, uh, adding more uh, uh, more uh, non-financial services to microfinance, uh, maybe uh, too costly, expensive, and not profit uh, uh, table. But what we need, we really need to see is the end users how best we are serving them and make sure that we are mon uh, monitoring and uh, and uh, making sure that the work that we are doing are uh, is having the impact that we are expecting. So it's uh, a lot of uh, explanation, demonstration that uh, the uh, impact that you're claiming is being achieved and uh, and, make, uh, and making sure that we talked about it, that integration is making a difference is really, it is not just about uh, being a fancy, adding more, uh, more non-financial services, more things to burden the, uh, the clients, but it's about responding to their needs uh, in, the, in a sustainable uh, um, manner and really uh, making sure that what we're claiming is really what is being achieved. Thank you. A question? I hope I uh, addressed uh, Marema's point. Yeah, uh, I'm seeing a DSK uh, Rao uh, uh, big, uh, began to type something. Uh, I can see the question. I saw the name, but uh, yeah. If you have a question, uh, DSK, uh, go uh, go uh, go ahead. Hello, can you speak up, DSK? Yeah, I can, I can hear you well. Up. Okay. Can, can you hear me? Yes, perfect. Okay. Thanks. Now, uh, my experience in Asia says that uh, you know, the, the bigger the MFI, the more profitable the MFI, the more uh, professional the MFI, the lesser are they interested in, in, uh, uh, in uh, not only integration, but they do not want to be, be distracted by uh, anything other than financial intermediation yeah. and uh, it's very important that uh, some of the big MFIs are motivated to motivated to introduce products like integration and this is my experience in Asia I'm not sure if a similar uh, experience is noticed in Africa and uh, Latin America Yeah, I think uh, you are right, uh, DSK. Um, uh, the, uh, and those uh, who MFIs. have NGO background, those who have NGO background and then become converted to MFI, they, they appear to be more interested and it's much easier to convince them. But they are smaller players. So yeah. this is the kind of uh, situation we face here. Yeah. I think uh, it's, uh, it is, uh, as you know, uh, not fin uh, financial uh, services for MFIs are not the natural activity that they, that they have. So uh, it takes some, uh, some uh, time and some uh, uh, commitment to get there. And uh, a lot of questions that uh, MFIs, uh, the MFI should ask, and uh, in terms of uh, its own impact. So uh, yes, um, uh, it has been the case in uh, uh, in Africa as well, and I believe some uh, uh, some other partner um, organizations here can uh, provide their their inputs about that uh, during the uh, the week. 
and uh, in Latin America it has been uh, even uh, more difficult than in Africa to uh, kind of convince MFIs to adopt the credit uh, services. So uh, yes, but again, uh, like I said, it's uh, really about uh, talking about it, showing how uh, the results that you're having and making sure that people uh, understand uh, that uh, that is the way to go. Yeah, thank you. So, so we, we have a, a few minutes to go, so uh, I'll take a, a last quick question, uh, if there's any, and uh, A question for Mariam. So, uh, yes, uh, I guess my concern is that MFIs are adding new financial products, savings, housing, insurance, and uh, etc. Is it too much for one institution to want to be? To want to be a one-stop shop? shop or is it better to use the linked approach? Yeah, uh, this is a great uh, question. Uh, I talked about the right uh, balance that we should find. Uh, uh, we don't have to burden the, the, the end user, the clients, and we don't have to burden the organization as well. It, it is important that the, um, this uh, is uh, something that the organization can really bear. And uh, and we don't have to do everything, so uh, a balance should be found. And uh, going, adding or using the linked approach through partnerships is a, a very good way to go to kind of add other uh, non-financial uh, ser uh, uh, ser uh, services. But again, let's not uh, burden the clients and ensure that uh, we are not providing too much. Thanks. So uh, we are almost done in terms of uh, time and I'm seeing uh, a lot of questions uh, coming in so I'd like to propose that you put them uh, on the collaboration space I mean on the discussion uh, that we begin tomorrow and uh, yeah we can uh, address that that way because we are short of time right now so uh, I, I, I apologize for that for not uh, uh, being able to provide everyone the floor, but uh, if you can use the the online discussion for your questions, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. Bye.
Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, I'm seeing um, uh, Abraham uh, Akoko uh, uh, raising his hand. So you have the floor, Abraham. Hello, Abraham. Hello. Yes. Abraham. Yeah. Go ahead. We can hear you. Yes. Go ahead. We tagged out. We. We. We look. Are we looking at it? focus of an MF basically in Africa. Yeah. And uh, me, I'm thinking most of them are becoming more profit focused and uh, helping the rap for, and, um, and so we are not seeing the impact of the poverty eradication. And some of them are operating in some rural sector. So, uh, Abraham, uh, I'm sure I got everything because the the reception is very bad here. Uh, so it looks like you are uh, talking about the uh, the fact that it is hard to show the uh, the impacts of integrated services. Uh, is that right? That's that's what I got. Hello? Yeah, that is okay. it. Okay, uh, we really have a, an issue with the reception mm -hmm. here. Abraham, if you can just uh, come in uh, by the chat, that would be great. Thank you. Uh, let me take the opportunity uh, for the time we still have uh, to address some other questions. Yes, uh, uh, another question uh, from uh, Mariama, uh, which is uh, how many uh, projects has FFH and uh, uh, that has FFH, and which is your most uh, successful approach? Uh, we uh, worked in uh, many, many three uh, regions in uh, in, in the world: um, uh, in Africa, Lat uh, Latin America, and uh, Asia. And uh, we uh, have worked in more than. Uh, 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 of uh, 40 countries uh, total, so I can tell exactly uh, currently uh, how many partners we have. But uh, the most, in terms of the most uh, successful approach that we have used, uh, it has been the the the, uh, the unified approach. Uh, the unified approach has been the the one that Freedom from Hunger has. Uh, used the most with its partner. Reason for that is the efficiency that we see, and uh, we've been working in uh, areas that are very, very where it's very difficult to see several to have several organizations, development organizations, uh, able to provide uh, services to the very, to the very poor. So using um, uh, the MFI's infrastructure that are already existing there uh, to add non-financial services has been uh, the way that we try to overcome that and we have promoted that uh, uh, very widely in the world. Thank you.
there's a last uh, question uh, coming from uh, Abraham, uh, which is, I think uh, macro funds are becoming more, uh, I guess, macro finance uh, institutions are becoming more uh, profit uh, focused than helping the the, the uh, rural poor, and so we cannot see their impact on pow on poverty eradication. Yes, uh, uh, I totally agree with you, uh, Abraham. Uh, th that's why Freedom from Hunger is really uh, pushing and advocating for integrated uh, services to make sure that uh, uh, not only we are responding to the liquidity uh, issue that the very poor are, are facing in the world, but also another uh, other uh, 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 services that they lack, uh, the knowledge one, uh, uh, the, the the health uh, services that they lack in their in their uh, areas, and so on. So all that put together uh, helped uh, helped uh, to really uh, have more impact on that, and it it needs to be known and MFIs who have very good contact through their infra infrastructure uh, with uh, the very poor, uh, uh, it is good that they understand that and uh, really make sure that they're having impact uh, and, uh, and see how they can best use their existing uh, infrastructure to, to, uh, to, to do more and not stop half uh, half of the way. Thanks. I think we're gonna uh, stop there for today. I think that's all the questions that we have. Uh, so tomorrow uh, you'll see um, uh, a post from me just to launch the conversation on the rationale of combining macro finance and non-financial uh, services and uh, uh, this is uh, a way to get the conversation started. I invite you to, to go there to check the site and, and, and provide uh, inputs, share your experience, uh, disagree uh, yeah, so uh, feel free. And also before we finish, uh, I'd just like to draw your attention on the, uh, on, the uh, on the survey that Freedom from Hunger has conducted uh, with some MFIs around the world. Uh, you see on the, uh, on the conference site on the top right hand side, uh, it is uh, uh, a survey about the provision of health uh, 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 services to microfinance uh, clients. And we got some preliminary uh, responses from uh, some MFIs and we would like to invite you to take the survey. So on the conference site, just click on the, um, on take the survey uh, line and uh, that uh, that will take you there. Thank you for your for your participation to the survey and also thank you for your attention today. <laughs>